Good morning, congregation, and <clears throat> welcome to Athens Christian Reformed Church Online. Uh, unlike normal services, this, uh, this particular online service, the welcome and announcements and God's greeting are going to be up to date and the same as what you would receive uh, uh, if you are in person at church, um, you know, other than the setting. Um, so uh, this will be current information, but also uh, the congregational prayer will be up to date as well. Um, and that is because we're trying to get back started up again, and we didn't want to uh, leave those who are at home uh, behind on uh, that kind of congregational information and so on. I tried to do some live stream testing from homes or from the church uh, to see whether or not we could have things going simultaneously between the church and uh, at home wherever you are uh, but yeah it's it's just we just don't have the internet uh, capabilities for that and it's not it's not an Athens CRC particular problem yet or, or really uh, the whole village just doesn't really have that kind of infrastructure at this time but there's good news perhaps the uh, there have been trucks throughout town doing installation of fiber optic cables, so you never know. Sometime next year, or sometime later this year, maybe we'll have uh, decent internet speeds that we can do stuff with. In terms of uh, announcements for you this morning, uh, there uh, we'll talk about a couple things when we get to pastoral care and uh, congregational prayer. Uh, but in terms of announcements, just to uh, reinforce a couple of the things that were sent out to you via email or in the bulletin or both. Uh, and that is that as per the government's directions, we will be reducing the number of in-person people we can have a little bit on Sundays. And so we're just going to be a little bit cautious with that. But I did get clarification from the uh, health unit that um, apparently if it is part of a religious service um, and if we are keeping our masks on and keeping physically distance uh, we can we can sing to our hearts content so I am yeah I apologize for uh, sort of tamping that down for a long time uh, but uh, the clarity is good and so we can move forward uh, enjoying that if you are here for the in-person service if you're at home then by all means belt it out um, but uh, yeah we also wanted to let you know that for the time being because of the government's uh, restrictions for this time uh, there will be uh, various children's programs and other ministries that we have are suspended unless they happen to have uh, five or less people total, including the uh, leaders. And so, uh, sadly, that does mean that we will not be having any before church Sunday school or catechism. We will also not be having during church Sunday school or um, nursery services for the time being. Uh, so please be aware of that as you make your plans. Now, that being said, if you have small children, don't feel that necessarily you need to stay away. Um, we're okay with children uh, screaming during services or whatever. I know as a parent, I remember it can be really difficult if your kids get unruly. Uh, but uh, we love God's children of all ages, and so uh, don't stay away simply because there's no nursery or Sunday school available. <clears throat> so those are all the announcements that I need to make at this particular time, I believe. So please receive God's greeting. Welcome, brothers and sisters, in the name of our Lord and Savior, who is Jesus Christ the King, revealed ruler of all things. Welcome. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.